Hi graduates, it's Stella from Maple University and this is Stella short and sweet preview for Journey Adventure Quest Ojek from Triceratops Games From dawn to dusk, we adventurers work to gain equipment to build our power and spell to hopefully defeat the monsters grab the loot and complete our personal missions. The game plays 2 to 6 players with mechanics such as drafting, set collection and end game bonuses. The game is of light complexity. Jack is a family game but can be played more strategically too. In Jack, players are adventurers drafting their equipment and spell cards to fight against the monster each end of round and set collect to fulfill their personal mission cards. Game goes for 3 rounds, and each round has 2 days. At the start of each day, players draft cards to assign to their dawn, noon, then dusk slot. Then all players reveal simultaneously one slot at a time, then assigning equipment to the appropriate slot in their play area, or once off use for item cards. They do the same for day 2. Players reveal the cards simultaneously, and they may need to pay gold or gain blood for injuries, then activate the benefit, such as gaining gold, victory points, various journey tokens, and healing injuries. Some cards are more beneficial when assigned at a particular time of the day, as indicated there. After two days, each player then face off against the monster separately. Each player needs to have at least the same number of attack to the monster's health similarly with knowledge. If player can achieve that, player wins and gets the bounty and points. If not, player doesn't get the bounty and points. Either way, monster then attacks. If player doesn't have enough defense, they'll gain injuries. Then the next round continues. Players again draft, fight monsters, but the monster gets stronger. It works the same way as equipment which is quite unique here. Whenever you place the next equipment on monster, they leave the left sidebar. So say this armor, added as a second one, becomes a grisly nocturnal trench of darkness with one knowledge and five defense. Neat and cool sounding armor, right? So while the monsters are getting stronger, your equipment also getting stronger and fancier. After three rounds, game ends, Players also reveal personal missions, usually start collecting certain equipment or guild to get points. Players get points from equipment, victory points they've collected, and lose one point per blood token. And so the best adventurer will be chosen, and the one with the highest victory points is the bravest one and wins. There's also a loot card that comes with the monster. Ooh, loot. What's adventuring without looting, right? You don't have to defeat the monster to get it. Just show that you have the most of what the loot requires, like this one. You need to have the most knowledge. Loot cards get assigned like equipment to your play area. There is interesting timing with some cards give you the bonuses if played at certain time of the day. But would the card be still available if you leave it? Or will your opponent take it in the draft? Will you just focus on defeating the monsters or collecting the right equipment for your personal missions? There are also common objectives that you can get. Making trying to combo your cards as best as possible is vital. So, what are you waiting for, adventurers? Roll up your sleeves, come with me and let's venture together through Journey Adventure Quest. So thanks for watching, adventurers. Check out Journey Adventure Quest project page. I'll put the link in the description below. The components featured in this video are prototyped, so rules and artwork are not final. You would help us by... Like the video, subscribe and hit the bell, and comments below if you find this video useful. I also share my board game's journey on Instagram. Hopefully to see you there too. See you next time.